Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, ET Phone Drones Metal. Uh, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, I have finally got some stuff um, that I needed, like a, a nice radio. This is a new radio that I got. It's a X9D, uh, painted white. Um, it's got some nice uh, M9 gimbals on it, and I can feel the difference already as far as uh, it's compared to what I was rocking which was this um, Jumper T12, which uh, I, I honestly like the feel of the gimbals, not necessarily better or any worse than, uh, than these. These actually feel freaking magnificent. I have yet to try this, this radio out, but uh, it came to me, uh, this was an eBay buy, honestly. Uh, this is a 2015 Tyrannus, um, like I said, with a painted face, and it came with a nice little, um, uh, holder here uh, really nice upgrade that I didn't have uh, on this jumper t12 uh, and I said like I said the m9 gimbals and I have it um, equipped with a uh, crossfire system here which works absolutely seamless with the FR sky Tyrannus x9d all right so the main point of this video here today is that I had ordered this I got this over a week ago and I just haven't been able to fly it because I, my, my, uh, my jumper T12 gave out. Just been without a radio, guys. So here it is again. I did an unboxing vid, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over kind of what this is here. Quite the beast here is 85 millimeter uh, whoop frame. Uh, of course, you know it's 85X more or less with the new 16 amp 32 bit ESCs, F4 processor. Um, it's just got some really nice gear on there. It's all stacked up. It's got a nice little VTX at the top Rated at 200 um, milliwatts. So we'll see how all this all this flies here guys If you want to look at the specs, I'm pretty sure there's 100 videos on it uh, I want to see how this uh, capacitor holds out and what the video looks like um, I have this sweet metal guys um, Of course, this is gonna be going around my yard as usual I'm gonna do a little bit of a distance on it. Not much nothing uh, nothing that I can't afford to lose here um, as far as um, I can't afford to lose this thing. If I did, I'd be super sad. But uh, ET phones, me ET phone drones, metal guys. My channel is about flying my drones and listening to some metal. That I uh, some some stuff is old school, some stuff is new school. Um, please subscribe to my channel uh, because there is other things such as uh, talks about ET and um, some phones that'll be coming out here in the future that I want to get. So it's gonna be you know encompassing ET phone, some drones, and some metal. Of course, metal music, metal guitar playing, um, all that good stuff on this channel. But uh, here we go, guys. Let's go back outside and see how, or let's go outside and see how everything's gonna be flying today. All right, here we go. Yeah. So here we are in my outside um, location. And this is in the Tascadero, California, guys. Um, absolutely lovely spot here that I have about two acres to fly on. Um, not in the front of the mall, guys. This is not my property, but uh, these are my Fatshark B3s, Dom B3s. Um, and this is an important part of this is I'll be doing the Nitro Nectar 354S. Very light battery. Not going to do the most flight time with this thing. Maybe thinking two minutes max and then bring it back in. And, um, but yeah, we'll see how, how actually these motors do with something like this and then we'll put that on it.
<clears throat> All right, guys, so I just did some really extensive testing um, as far as uh, stock PIDs, more or less, on the Beta 85X 4K. And um, it cracked a tiny bit. There's a hairline fracture on the canopy. The canopy's a little wimpy, guys. It looks nice. Um, it needs to be upgraded with some TPU or something like that. I mean, it's it's substantial for what it is, guys. This isn't going to be your racing quad. This is going to be, honestly, for if you're like a real estate agent uh, or you're just trying to get some really good pictures of some small areas. Um, it's super clean, super clear, super fun to fly. Um, but, I mean, I, I don't think this is a basher. Uh, this is It's got a really expensive camera on it. and I mean, this is just a cinema quad here. Um, but uh, some really cool features was the, the Bluetooth capabilities or the Wi-Fi capabilities. I was able to, to format the SD card quickly. Uh, the code for this thing was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in order to unlock it via Wi-Fi. It really flew nice. The VTX was easy to switch to 200 milliwatts via um, OSD. Um, and uh, a couple things was the prop wash is there on 3S. So for 3S flyers, this guy is going to have a little bit of prop wash. Uh, probably some PID, some PIDs can be changed on that for a difference. But this thing comes right out of the box for 4S, in my opinion. This is a 4S quad out of the box. Have some batteries with you. I had a 350 mAh battery. It flew absolutely wonderful. Um, I, I imagine a 550 would, fi would fly really nicely as well. Maybe a little, a little more prop wash. But yeah, this thing is getting some prop wash on 3 and even 4S, but just very minimal on the 4S. I must say, um, the video will speak for itself, guys. This thing is really nice, very capable of taking some really good shots. And, um, uh, you know, there really isn't much room for improvement on this quad. Honestly, guys, it's pretty solid. I want to give it, I want to give it like an 8 out of 10 because it covers all the bases in, in, um, in its design. It's a really nice design. It's got, it's got very little, um, uh, issues as far as when the flying or as it's supposed to fly like I said it's not a, it's not an acrobatic five inch quad guys it's not a toothpick either so it does what it needs to do and it does it reliably this one is crossfire enabled so um, I could get some distance on this but I haven't been really trying to yet um, you will see in my videos that I, could, I do go pretty far without any um, fail saves or anything like that highly recommended um, over this guy though, I don't know, it's kind of a toss up. This guy it definitely feels lighter even in the hand. Um, this is my 3S HD. Um, I've got both of them here guys. I've got both these quads and I will do a comparison later, but uh, right off the bat guys, the, the Tarsier is definitely feeling heavier by a bunch. So the 4S is the only way to go. I got the Velcro off. Next up here, um, 4S flyer here, whereas uh, I would have to say mainly a 3S flyer here. Um, this guy flies very well though and has taken a beating like no other. So this thing's been crashed around, beaten up, still flies perfectly. And this is the latest and greatest, quite the heavy quad. Also has a carbon fiber reinforced frame on the bottom. So um, really, really nice handling though, guys. Really nice cornering. Really nice flyer. Um, yeah, like I said previously, the 350 mAh from Nit those Nitro Nectars were badass. Um, that's all I got, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. The Beta FPV 4K uh, trilogy here. I will be coming out with more stuff and information on it. But though, for those of you who bought it um, or who are thinking of buying it, yeah, check out the video.